welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to do a fun little video which is just like a um, painting of um, some baubles. I thought with it being nearly Christmas um, it would be really nice to do something that's a little bit more festive um, and I think that this would make a really lovely gift or card if you wanted to make your own cards you could adapt this for that um, or even just something if you've got kids or you know people that need to be entertained um, then you could have this as like a thing to do on Christmas Day. Um, so before we get into the video I did want to just say a quick thank you to um, Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video today. They've sent me some really lovely items which I'd love to show you. Um, so the first thing that they have sent me are these absolutely stunning earrings look at these with the little pearls on them so this is the Frida earring and I just think they're gorgeous these I'm actually going to give to my mum because I think they're really classy and I think that she would absolutely love them but I just think they are stunning the next thing that I got which I'm so excited about is um, this necklace and this you might recognize it because I wear the other version of this necklace all the time so this is the slim version or skinny version of the um, Ina necklace that I wear literally every single day. So I'm really excited for this and I think it's going to look lovely. Um, and it's just like a daintier version of the one that I already wear. So I'm very, very happy with that. It's 16 inches long and it's just, it's so classy and it's so beautiful and it's so shiny. I absolutely love it. And to go with it, I've also got the bracelet version. Now this is something I'm really excited. I never had the normal Ina bracelet. Um, and this is actually called the Atlas Mini, but it's the same type of chain as the necklace. So I'll just show you the two next to each other. They're exactly the same type of chain and they're just beautiful. They really catch the light. You can see that there and they look wonderful on everyone. I just think they are just the perfect addition to any outfit so I'm very excited about those and then the last thing that they sent me is this Chloe necklace so this is a new necklace from Anna Luisa and you can see there it has this little cloud picture on it and then if you just flip the pendant it turns to a sun I love this I think it's so so cute I can't wait to wear this I'm gonna layer this with the Ina mini necklace and I think it's just going to look so like awesome. This is 16 inches plus two inches. So this will be slightly longer than the, the Ina Mini. So I'm really, really excited for that one. Absolutely love it. I really love Anna Luisa jewelry because it is carbon neutral. I think that is just such a wonderful thing for a company to be able to say. It's really like, pretty dainty jewelry it's really my style as well um, and not only that but they're excellent value for money like you guys know if you've watched my videos before I've had the Ina necklace for probably coming up to two years now um, and I wear it every single day I've never taken it off um, and I wear it in the shower and it has stayed the same quality as when I got it so I think they're really great value for money and there's so much variety as you've seen with what I've shown there's so many different options just within those four pieces so if you'd like to get your hands on your own Anna Luisa jewellery they're currently having their sale it is 35% off which is insane this is so good I'll put a link in the description box below um, and I'll write down what which items I have so that you can find them and get your own versions of them they're great for gifts as well because every single piece comes with its own little pouch these are adorable. They're great for traveling with your jewelry as well because like for example, these ones have two little pockets in there too. And they're just really, really lovely to be able to keep your jewelry safe in its own little pocket as well. So I think that makes it a really nice gift for someone, especially if you're thinking about buying gifts for Christmas. Um, so if you do wanna check that out, the link will be in the box below. So to do our bauble painting, what I'm gonna use is the um, Arteza sketchbook. I'm actually going to use the big version of it um, just because it's handy. <laughs> I have it to hand. I want to use it. I haven't really used many of these big ones yet, so I'm really happy to use that. And then what I also have is a plastic cup. This will make sense when you watch the video. So I have one of these. You could use any type of cup, any type of round um, object that you can draw around. This is so that I can get the um, bauble shape. I have an H pencil for drawing with and I have a compass and I know not everybody has a compass so that's why we have also got the cup so you could use either and then I have an eraser 
and some pens as well. I have my big ceramic palette. I have my Coloro gold watercolours because I love to add a little bit of shimmer to anything Christmassy. I think that's just really, really festive. I have my Mission Gold watercolours. And then I also have my Schmincke super granulating colours as well. Okay. Now, obviously, um, you don't have to use all of these different things. Um, you could easily do this with just some basic watercolours, um, a pencil, a cup, a bit of paper, and um, if you wanted to add some pen, you can add some pen to it as well. It's just that I've got all this stuff, so I'll just use it. Um, but yeah, definitely you don't need to use all this stuff, and I think that's the beauty of it. So let's get into the video and you will see what I mean. Okay, so we are going to have a go at painting some Christmas baubles, which will be perfect for the gifting season. So generally speaking, baubles are round and that's the way I'm going to draw mine. Now, I actually have a um, compass here, um, but I know that not everybody has a compass, so there are a couple other ways you can create some circles. Um, so... I also have this plastic cup and I'm going to draw around each end and then I've also seen um, a video of someone else creating some baubles where they've had like watercolour very wet on a palette and then they've like dipped the circle into it so we'll try that as well um, but we'll start with the first one And I'm using an H pencil, just because I don't want the pencil lines to be too obvious. So that's my first bauble shape. And then we'll try doing a smaller one down here using this. And then another up here. which is a little bigger one. And then what we'll do as well is we are gonna use some watercolor. the Da Vinci Cassanio brush as you know from previous videos it holds a lot of water and then I'm just going to drop water into each of the galaxy paints to activate them and because I love a bit of blue we're going to do this blue one here so then I'm just going to put the blue here and you can already see the paint separating absolutely love this paint this is the Schmincke super granulation paint oh so good right make it nice and big and wet So I'm going to take this end of the cup and we're going to dip it in. It needs to be a bit bigger. That's my cat going mad in the background. Dip it in. We'll see if it works. It might be that because it's a plastic cup it doesn't work so well oh it kind of works so we have like a nice cute little circle there so then let's get some of the paint and we'll just start to bring it in and this is just meant to be like a really fun piece Bit of Christmas fun. 
So I think if it hadn't have been a plastic cup, we would have got a more even circle. That's okay, I kind of like it like that. And I love that with the super granulating paints, you're going to get all these different colours, so it looks like a shimmering bauble. So the next colour I'm going to use is going to be one of my Mission Gold paints. And I'm going to go for this pink colour here. Now I have found that Mission Gold don't need a huge amount of water to reactivate them, depending on the colour. And we'll just go in Now you could use a smaller brush if you want to, but I'm being spectacularly lazy. And the point of this is so that you can make a really nice, easy, quick, little Christmassy bit of artwork without needing too many gizmos and gadgets and paintbrushes and paints and whatnot. Now, I actually prefer the super granulating paints. I think that they, the fact that they sort of split and they have these different color effects to them, I just think it creates a much like more beautiful um, piece of artwork. But we're gonna go in with this blue. And I'm gonna add a bit of water almost straight away. And then we're going to go back to the super granulating paints just because I love them. And I think we will use I'm going to go with another blue again. that there and I'll finish it once this other one is dry. And then I think we need to add something here. So I'm going to pick up the Galaxy Pink for this one here. mission gold and we'll do it in a purple I think Okay, so that's the first little part. We're going to let them dry. Then 
No, cat. No. 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 Oh, goodness me. You're not going to like this as soon as I turn on this. Okay, so that's those dry. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a very fine micro -hand. So this is the 0.2, and that's pretty fine. And we're going to um, use that and the H pencil to draw the tops of the baubles. So most baubles have like a little top that goes like this. With a little loop on it. So we're gonna do that for each of the baubles. Okay, so we've got the idea of where our little bubble tops are going to go, and then I'm just going to draw that in with the pen. Now I like the idea of keeping the lines pretty simple, I don't want them to be too perfect, um, I'm quite liking the idea of them being a little bit less sort of perfectionist. Okay. So I'm then going to, what I want to do is what I saw um, someone else do, is to do some sort of squiggly circles around each bauble. So I don't want it to be perfect. I just want a nice squiggly little circle. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just really like the um, style of it when I saw. I'll have to um, find the post. It was an Instagram reel. I'll see if I can find it. Okay, so we have our baubles with their nice little squiggly lines. I'm just going to do a few lines for here as well. So now we're going to draw the strings. Okay. So what I've done there is I haven't focused on the strings being straight, I've just done lots of several lines again to match the outline of the bauble. Another great reason why to, to uh, do the squiggly lines. So this one's going to go behind and then it will keep on here. This one goes up and then. It's really interesting. This, like when this first was getting done and I started adding in these little funny squiggly lines, I was a bit like in my head, I was like, mm, oh my God, this looks terrible. But actually now that I've done it, I really like it. So that's that part. So we are going to instead use the color of fine text. I'm gonna use this pale gold, which will match. Add a very pretty shimmer to it. Okay, so 
So. very quickly on this and then using a brush pen this fine brush pen I'm gonna try and just draw this Merry Christmas out Probably should have used a calligraphy pen, but I wanted this to be nice and easy and quick. And then what I will then do is I'll go over it with the pen again to um, fill in any blanks. In fact, I might use my other brush pen that's a little bit, this one's a little bit of a firmer brush. That's all done. I'm pretty happy with it for just a very quick, easy Christmas sketch. I feel like this would be something that would be really fun to do if you've got kids um, on Christmas Day. Um, you could even like draw out the baubles for them and they could then decorate them if, you, if they wanted. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I found that really fun and I think it would be such a nice thing to do um, on Christmas day or in the run up to Christmas if you want to like make your own gifts or your own cards. I just think it was easy and fun and I like that. So that is the finished little piece. Um, I think it's really cute. I love the effect that adding the shimmering watercolours has created and I'll do a close up as well so you can see it. Um, and I really like this kind of way of drawing with these sort of squiggly lines. Sorry, the cat has decided that now I've moved the sketchbook, it is her turn to sit on the desk. Um, what do you think? Let me know. I would love to do these on a little smaller scale. I might make some cards out of these as well. Um, I just think it's fun and yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. So let me know if you have a go at it as well. And also if you follow me on social media, tag me on your finished piece as well. I'd love to see them. Um, my Instagram handle is in the description box below so do go and give me a follow and then don't forget you can get 35% off Anna Louisa jewellery it is on now I'll put the link in there for you so if you would like to get any of those pieces you can head over there and grab them as well I will see you in the next video thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you're not already subscribed please do hit that subscribe button and the like button and I shall see you in the next one thanks